Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add three digit numbers and hundreds and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. So let's begin with our first example. So that is our question, 464 plus 300. Now the same principle applies when we were adding just 100. If you look at the number 300, what do we notice about it? There are two zeros, the units and the tens. So whenever we're adding hundreds to another number, the tens and the units do not change. So therefore this number 64 will not change. So we can write that in but we won't write it just yet. As for the hundreds, well we're adding 300 so that will change. So it's 4 plus 3 equals 7. So 464 plus 300 is 764. Now notice that the 64 did not change. Only the 100 went from 4 to 7 because we added 3. OK, let's move to our second example. This time got a slightly tricky one, 727 plus 400. 727 plus 400. Now again, the same principle applies. 0, 0, and we're adding it to 27. So the 27 does not change. The 100, however, we're adding four hundreds to the seven hundreds here. So seven plus four, and you know this, seven plus four is eleven. And it really is very simple. So seven hundred and twenty-seven plus four hundred is one thousand, put a little comma, one hundred and twenty-seven. And just to highlight this, the twenty-seven did not change. The 7 and the 4, we'll combine it here, 7 plus 4 is 11, and there is our 11, 1,127. Let's scroll down a little bit and we can work on one more example. Okay, this time we've got 811 plus 200. There should be a zero, 200. So 811 plus 200. Now forget the tens and the units. We're going to go straight to the hundreds. We've got 8 plus 2. Okay, The 11 remains the same. So therefore this answer becomes 1011. 8 plus 2 is 10. There's a 10. The 11 does not change. 1011. And it really is that simple, adding three-digit numbers and hundreds using the horizontal format.